Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Kraus, reporting from Washington, D.C. This week, we have some new research on science and art and opportunities to hone those public engagement skills, so be sure to watch until the very end. As a scientist myself, I found my artistic pursuits of wildlife photography and video helped communicate my science, but it never really affected my research. A new study has found that artistically inclined scientists must strike a balance between science and their creation of art. By finding this balance, creating art has a positive relationship with scientific impact, helping reinforce each other. This relationship increases as researchers have more impact and more resources to pursue art that communicates their science. Scientists that have a lower scientific impact and pursue more public outreach and engagement through art, on the other hand, find that doing more artistic work has a more negative effect on their scientific impact. Encouraging researchers with resources, training, and recognition to engage in science communication through art can help boost their scientific impact as well as bridge the gap between the scientific community and society. Science Talk is one of the premier conferences dedicated to science communication professionals in the United States. It's hosted by the Association of Science Communicators. The hybrid online and in-person conference will take place in Raleigh in April. Session proposals for Science Talk 2025 are now open for submissions, but they're due tonight. The application is brief, and I myself am submitting a proposal, so may the odds be ever in your favor. There is a webinar describing the on-the-spot feedback technique to improve public engagement with science. The tools for analyzing audience thinking and feeling are revealed in this hour-long recording. The focus is on receiving and incorporating audience feedback on the spot, such as through changing the pace, diving into audience interests, or being more relevant to lived experiences. They also published an extensive training guide and developed a framework, so if you want to hone those public engagement skills, be sure to check that out at the link in the description below. Just enter the required password. With the upcoming 2024 U.S. presidential election in full swing, the National Science Policy Network is hosting meetings focused on communicating science on the ballot. The meetings provide an opportunity to meet with others in science policy, provide updates on the work that they're doing, receive training, and workshop any challenges that they're experiencing. The last meeting before the election will take place on October 3rd, with monthly meetings following the election, as there will still be plenty of work to do, getting science on the ballot. Thank you so much for watching this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.